Welcome to a guide to new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay, new mods for Monday the 25th of November. Um, we've got a few to get through, so I'll try and be as quick as I can. Um, start, starting off, we have got the Bresland Lard um, Shuffle Pack. Uh, this is the L16 and L17 by Vertex Design. Uh, these are large shovels for telehandlers. There's some interesting um, changes on these um, for connectors on the back. We don't often see it. Normally you just kind of get a standard connector and it will hook up to whatever it says it's going to. Um, but interestingly, there are some options to change the connections on the back of these, which is, I suppose, it just gives you a nice tidier connection when you're hooking them up to different vehicles and different mods and things like that. But there are a few different options available on the L16 and the L17. We'll go and have a look at that fairly quickly. You'll find these under telehandlers. So, uh, both of these are 1,900 to buy, the L16 and the L17. They're both three slots, I think. They are both three slots for the first one of each. Uh, the options are pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is the capacities are a little bit different. Um, so, we'll have a look at the L16. Starts off at 2,080 litres. Um, and the design looks like that. We can change the main colour. We can have black. Uh, we can have a lighter green. And we can have the orange. Uh, capacity 2080 then we can go 2390 which adds those curved sections on to increase the capacity we then go up one which increases the bucket size like so to 2400 and then you add on the extra little bits to make it 2760 then we go to 2600 which seems to be going backwards but it increases the bucket size and then you put the extensions on like so which takes up to 3110 litres Reinforcements, you can have no or yes, which puts those in. That makes no difference to the load or anything like that. It's just aesthetic, but it looks quite cool. Um, and then attacher type, and this is where things get a little bit different to what we're used to. Um, attacher type on the back, you've got telehandler, but then it does say front loader, so it changes the connection type. Pulse, so for the Pulse teleloader uh, by Creative Mesh, yeah. Um, and then you've got JCB. And New Holland, so there's a few different options on connections there. So I say we don't often see on the buckets and things like that. Um, so that's the L16. The L17, pretty much the same. Colour options are exactly the same. Starts off at 3,030 litres um, and adding the extension... Hang on, that's weird. Yeah, 3,030. Extensions takes it to 3,330. Then we get the slightly larger one, 3,430. Extensions, 3,770. Then we go 3860, extensions 4240. That's the largest I think it goes. Then we're back to 3, yeah. So 4240 litres. Again, reinforcements, yes or no. And this one, we've got telehandler on the back standard. We've got JCB option, or we've got a New Holland option. And then back to telehandler. So there we go. Um, so those are Bressel and Lard. I'm sorry if I get that wrong. Um, buckets by uh, Vertex Design. Next up. Uh, let's whiz over here. Right, we have got this is, I'm just looking down my list, there are so many. To go. This is the Metal Tech um, PP20 um, Auger Wagon Chaser Bin. This is by Melody98. Five slots. Really nice, neat, tidy mod. Auger, um, once it's open, goes up uh, backwards and forwards, side to side, up and down, depends how you want to look at it. Um, but it will alter position, change the angle, is what I'm thinking of. And you can change the angle of the head up and down slightly as well. Cover opens. It's a really nice, tidy mod. I don't use auger wagons very often. Um, and there are a few auger wagons available already. This is another one of situations where it's options, um, you know. You may be looking for a Metal Tech one, or you may have used the other ones and think I'm just looking for something different to use. It might just be you're a Metal Tech fan, I don't know. But anyway, so the PP20. Um, in store, this is under Org Wagons. Sorry if I'm appearing a bit blasé, I just want to make sure I get through everything. And the problem is when you're doing it like this, you often miss things. I'm trying not to as well. 51,000 to buy. Um, like I say, only five slots, which isn't too bad. Capacity of 28,000 litres. Um, it will take usual grain crop types. It will take seed and it will take solid fertiliser as well. Options available are on the tyres. We can have Trelleborg, standard or wide. We can have 
Michelin standard or wide. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, just try to pull in. 200 horsepower required to pull it and operate. Cover comes as standard. That's not optional. I think you get that on most auger wagons now anyway, don't you? Um, what I will do just very quickly. It's that damned if you do, damned if you don't. I know I always say very quickly and people say, your mod reviews take way too long. And then if I don't show things, people say, well, why didn't you show us it being open and closed? Why didn't you show us the auger? Why, you know, so I, I try and get it all in. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, cover open. No, wrong one. Cover open. Cover closed. The inside design detailing is fantastic. All the cross members and bars and structural support and stuff. The internal subframe looks brilliant. Um, auger, as you just saw, opens and closes like so. Again, nice, smooth, neat animation. Really, really nice. Auger pipe angle change like so and then we can change the nozzle direction on the top as well to more directly down or more out like pretty much all auger wagons but it's just nice to have a look at it you know? and there you go so that's the Metal Tech PP20 by Melody98 let's disconnect from that next up we have got these I like these. Now these on FS17, I'm sure we had the company name, and my mind's gone blank. Oh man, it's gone. Uh, I can't remember what they were called. But anyway, they're lizard ones uh, now. Uh, they're an Irish company. Yep, it's just blanked, it's completely blanked. But anyway, um, this is the lizard 28 foot bale trailer by 4D Modding. There are 10 slots each. A few different design options available on these. Um, bale trailers with straps they're not auto load trailers but the detail is really really nice what is interesting is this this version is the potato pusher um, generally I'm sure it'll work for bales as well but generally for, for uh, boxed potatoes anything anything boxed anything that goes on the back of the trailer gets loaded on and this pusher can be adjusted and it pushes forward so it kind of clamps down on everything that's on the back you can still strap it as well but I would imagine as well, if you've loaded bales on there, I know sometimes, if you're like me, you've loaded them on and they're not quite tight up against there, you can use that to push forward. That bar will push forward and kind of neatens everything up. You've got to be careful. If you do it too much, you end up risking popping your pallets and bales off the top. But that's what that's for on the back, potato pusher. It's quite cool. <laughs> haven't come across that before on a modern console. Um, but yeah, and that's a standard bale one. That's a round bale option. There's a square bale option that doesn't have those sections on the creels, I think they're called, aren't they? It has the straight up and down ones. And um, we'll have a look at those in store at the moment. But yeah, nice, nice mods, these. I like them. I like the design. CD Models was the guy that did a lot of these mod trailers, did a lot of the Irish ones. Hasn't done any mods for ages, which is a pity because CD Models stuff was absolutely fantastic. But 4D Modding's done a brilliant job on these. Um, like them. Uh, these you will find under trailing technology where are we there we go so the lizard 28 foot flatbed 14,250 um, like I say 10 slots for the first of each of these mods options available we can change the rim color like so we can change the main color which is the main body like so star I'll say standard but wheel options then next trellerborg Michelin comes with wides. It says wides. And then knock ins are your options. As far as actual widths go, I don't think it seems to change them that much. But that says wide as well. That says wide. And then the trailer balls, they, look, they all look fairly much the same width to me. Um, then design options. We've got standard like that. We've got that one with for square bales, which gives you the straight up and down on the end sections and you've got the creels for the round bale it comes up further so you could stack them much higher up and it kind of they sit in those angled sections um, and then the potato pusher option on the back like that which can push forward and squeeze up against whatever you've got there and then back to standard then as far as registrations go you can have no registration you can have it with um, Ireland Kildare Ireland Tipperary German registration plate UK registration plate France Netherlands or none at all. Those are your options on that. What we will do is we'll hop out. Just want to show the potato pusher. Potato pusher on the back. Um, 
L1 on PlayStation, sorry. Um, trying to get the best angle on this. L1 and then right stick side to side pushes that bar forwards or backwards. And that's what it does. It just pushes up against the boxes, pallets. Like I say, you could probably do it with bales. If you haven't got a lot of room between, I would say just be very careful and do it slowly because obviously if you... There's a fair bit of extension on that. If you try to push that all the way out, you could risk popping bales up in the air and that kind of stuff. But it's a nice addition. I'd like to have come across that before. Very cool indeed. So there you go. That's 28-foot bale trailer packed by 4D modding. Next up, we have got the Vegestat Tempo F8. This is by Melody 98 as well. This is seven slots. We have got the Tempo V8 now. The F8... This was on FS17, wasn't it? There are so many mods and so many things now. I'm trying to remember. I'm sure it was. Um, nice detailed mod. I think it's a six metre one. We'll have a look in a second. It's a planter. So it will do your other crop types, not your main grain ones, but it will do your, uh, your corn, your sugar beet, your cotton. I'm having one of those days. Mine goes blank. But yeah, it's a nice nice mod, this. I like it. Again, it's options. Um, this is available under planters. Yeah, so I've got the Tempo V8, which is um, a 6 metre. This is the Tempo F8, which is also a 6 metre. Um, yeah, it will do your corn, your sunflower, your soybean, sugar beet and cotton. Yes, I was almost there with all of them. Um, options available? None requires 140 horsepower you get what you get nice neat clean tidy mod 2260 litre capacity i'm trying to think how that was split it did say in the mod hub how that capacity was split just bear with me one second um because it did say seeds 560 litres fertilizer 1700 litre is the split on the tank on that hook up with the pto which is very nice folds up. I'm just trying to get the light right here, otherwise you end up in the dark all the time. Oh, not folding up. There we go. Nice, neat, smooth animation of folding. Carver opens and closes like so. I like the fact it brings it into a very narrow profile for transport. Again, yeah, nice, neat, tidy mod. I like it. Options, people. It's all about options. Very cool. So that one's also by Melody98. Moving on. Now, this is a weird one, because I th thought we already had this in-game, because I thought I used it on the Pinky, but I might have been thinking of a different version. Um, unless I've picked the wrong one out of the mod hub, but um, we'll have a look. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is the Amazon D840 by Matthew FS. It didn't say update, it definitely said new. Um, five slots, cedar. Now this is one of those ones that can be hooked up with other attachments as well. You've got your three point link there, so I know there are a lot of these, um, the four metre ones, because this is a four metre cultivators and various different bits of equipment and they all kind of hook up in a row one behind each other or you can just use it as a cedar in its own right another nice neat tidy mod loads going on there loads of detail I mean those covers on the lights even look like a kind of glassy perspex type fantastic nice looking mod like it this is under cedars so we've got the D830. I'm sure we had a... Unless I'm going mad, which is highly likely at this point in time. Now that's the D840. That's the mod that came out. I'm just going to scroll across just to make sure I haven't got it somewhere else. As something else, and I've missed something. I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, there it is, the D840. Uh, 16,000 to buy. Um, it has a tank capacity of 1,000 litres, 4 metre width on it. It will, like I say, hook up, it says uh, HR 4004, so there's other things like subsoilers and cultivator things it will it will attach to as well. 
Options available, we can have it standard, like so, or with wide tyres. 110 horsepower required. And it does exactly what it says on the 10. The 10, the tin. It's a cedar. There you go. That's by Matthew FS. Moving on, we've got a couple of buildings, and then we'll be done. I apologise, I'll, I'll get through as quick as I can. Now, if you watched the previous guide to mod review you'll have seen some of the buildings that are just off to the left you may have seen these in the previous one um, but i thought i'd try and get them all in um so first up we are going to look at the large timber frame barn this is by modelica um ls mod company actually turns out there are two in this pack i put one out because it said on the mod hub barn but there, there were two in the mod hub which i kind of missed but anyway they're both out now so no need to worry great detail they are a fair size. Textures look great. The roof tiles look brilliant. It's sound effects, pretty good. But I like the internal designs as well. It looks like a proper old timber frame barn. Now I couldn't get up the ladder that way. However, we do have steps that go up this side here. And then we do have a ladder that takes you up here. You can use it as a drive through barn, hay loft, storage, whatever you want to do, or just to have it to look nice on your map pass and type tube. If you jump up here, this door does open and close. It's a pity the small baler I've still got in my mod hub because I never uninstalled it, but I think the small baler disappeared out of the console mod hub. If you did loads of small bales, you could have them all stacked up here and then do that kind of throwing them out the window onto a trailer or into a, you know, I just think that'd be a cool little addition to have. Um, but we have got the doors that open this side as well, so you have, in essence, got a drive-through barn if you want to use it like that. Very nice. I haven't come across a light switch, but then if it's an old timber frame barn, it wouldn't necessarily have one. Been, I've been looking around it. Again, I, someone will probably point out to me where it is. I just wondered if it was behind the doors here, but I haven't come across it. Um, and then you've got this one over here as well, slightly smaller same design cues but just a little bit of a smaller option but we do have the up section there which takes you up into the hayloft up the top just doesn't go as far back in that direction but we do have the double door open side here and here as well yeah it's cool very cool um these you will find under placeables in I think it's under sheds. There we go. Timber frame barn one um, is the smaller one. That's twenty one thousand four hundred to buy. That was. Let me find it on my sheet. <laughs> I think that was twelve slots. No, eleven slots. And then the timber frame barn two, the large one, twenty eight thousand five hundred and forty. That was twelve slots. Not a lot of difference in it either way. Um, and as you can see, probably from the fact I've placed loads and loads of placeables to do two mod reviews in kind of one go, um, these will all place fairly close together. Sometimes you get that situation where mods won't allow for close proximity. As you can see, fairly close to m mods of their own maker's creation, but also other mods as well. They seem to just fit in around each other, no problem at all. Um, but that's the timber frame, the large timber frame barn by Modelica LS Mod Company. Behind me, this one here. This is the La Mouchoise Farm Building by ETA La Mouchoise. Um, five slots to place this one. Much larger opening on the front on this one. Lots of space. Uh, whether you're putting vehicles in here or you might want to put some grain at the back again. Be wary. I, I, I do a kind of first look at the mods and, and see what they're like. I can't test everything on every mod. That's kind of not possible. Sometimes when people put grain and various different things in and try and use it as grain storage, you might get a bit of bleeding through the walls. And I would like to think you don't. I'm pretty sure in the mod tub, nearly all of the barns and shelters that I've been looking at the last mod review in this one are all seasons compatible. I think they've all had the snow mask done on them. I'm pretty sure all of them in the mod tub said that. Nice shelter bit on the side there as well for slightly smaller vehicles or whatever you're going to put in there. You might want to put bales or anything like that. Um, nice detailing, nice textures. It's a nice looking mod. I've been amazed at how many buildings and shelters and barns and things we've had over the last couple of days actually. Um, that's just there. Again, this you will find under sheds. 
There we go, the La Machoise Farm building, 18,500, um, and that is five slots. Not too bad at all. Moving on, this is a slightly odd one. We have this. Um, this is the Province of Quebec flag by Kev the Canadian. Three slots, we have a flagpole with the Province of Quebec flag on it. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but Kev the Canadian is obviously very proud of the Quebec provincial flag. Um, there you go, it's an option, it's there, it's one of those things people will either lap up or they're not going to be interested in, but it's there, I'm showing you it. The detail's brilliant, I love the, all the rust effect around the flagpole and stuff like that, and the fluttering, um, but yeah, it's it's only, did I say already, three slots, um, this was under decoration I think. There you go, 1,000 to place, um, and it flutters like a flag should. There you go, well, that's that one. Um, moving on, we have got, this may be the last mod, have I missed anything? I don't think so. Right, this is the open shed. This is the open shed by Stoneway Design, three slots, slots to place. It's the basic shed design, put down, storage, Again, options, There's so many to choose from now in the mod type, it's crazy how many sheds and shelters and buildings of all different shapes and sizes and designs we've got. But this is the open shed by Stoneway Design, three slots, uh, we'll have a look at that under sheds. Only 4,200 to buy and place. Very nice indeed. Plenty of room in there. Um, I think that's it. I'm just, like I say, I'm just going up my list, making sure I haven't missed something. I don't think I have. But anyway, that's it for mods for yesterday, the 25th of November. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.